Isabel, good to see you. Thanks for having me, Buck. Excited to be here. So tell me about your, I know, I feel like every conservative has their, well, in my day, those of us who are a little bit older than you, in my day, we had these crazy things happening on the campus. What, what were you subjected to? Because you've just come out of the campus ideological battles. Recently, I have, and back in my day at Colorado State University, where I graduated in 2019 with a degree in biomedical sciences, I faced extreme levels of leftist backlash, hatred, death threats and threats of violence, and even having my address leaked online simply because I decided it was time for diversity of thought at my large public university in very middle America, Fort Collins, Colorado. As I mentioned, I was a scientist by education and my intention was to attend medical school after graduation. But even in my classes like anatomy and organic chemistry and physics, we were talking about how, yes, there's two sets of chromosomes, but unlimited genders or even about the need to get rid of the First Amendment and completely scrap the idea of free speech altogether. It was shocking, but I think the reality that many people are unaware of in this country is that this wasn't happening at a Harvard or a Berkeley known leftist institution of education. This was happening everywhere, including at a big agricultural school in Colorado. You said you got death threats. Do you know, was that from other students or from just random people on the internet? Both, quite a few came from students that I worked in student government with or knew personally from my classes on campus, and several came from Antifa members involved in the organization across the state of Colorado as well. How did Antifa know about and, and target you specifically? What kind of activism were you involved in, and what were some of the causes that you were trying to push on campus? That's the million dollar question. And I think we expect some of this behavior from known conservatives who have quite a large social media following or maybe work in television and media. But as a normal biomedical sciences college student, I never expected to receive such hatred for my community simply because I was an outspoken conservative. I believe that they knew who I was because I decided to start a Turning Point USA chapter when I was a junior at Colorado State University and quickly gained a reputation for being that conservative girl or that Turning Point girl on campus, was regularly mentioned in political science or ethnic studies classes and on social media for Antifa groups as well. What kind of things would you do on campus with TPUSA that would attract the, the ire of these leftists in, in such a way? Nothing all that controversial, and that is so important to understand. Conservative students aren't going out spewing hateful rhetoric as the left would like for you to believe. Instead, we're simply trying to start a conversation about free speech for everyone, about differences in political values, the importance of limited government, for example. And we stand out on campus handing out socialism sucks buttons for your backpack and also bring notable conservative speakers to campus. As the Turning Point USA chapter president, when I was a student, we brought charges Charlie Kirk, Candace Owens, and Dennis Prager for lectures on campus, which ensued literal riots when I was a student, mandating the necessity for the National Guard to come to campus and protect attendees of the event. But the reason I'm sharing my story is not to play the victim or to tell you that I had a bad experience in college. I've never felt victimized by these circumstances at all. 